welcome back to our lovely world of Pop-Tart Ridge. It's time for episode 8 of my modded Minecraft Let's Play. Wow, that was a pretty fast loading screen. My objective for this video started off simple. I wanted to turn the zombie dungeon I'd found in episode 4 into an XP farm, so I could more efficiently farm XP. First, I needed to relocate the dungeon and place a waypoint, so that I could more easily measure the elevators that would need to lead down to the XP farm. Being only a couple hundred blocks off the beaten path, it was pretty easy to find. Nice. After setting the waypoint, I returned to the surface to measure the elevator shafts. So if I make it one, two, three, four, five blocks to the west, this is where I need to dig. While gathering materials for the elevators, I got the cows busy and slaughtered a couple of them to make bookshelves. The next day, I began work on the elevator shafts. This is where efficiency would come in handy. Oh, perfect! That did not take nearly as long as I thought it would. Any second now. Perfect! Next, I relocated the chests and began removing the floor. I'm gonna bring it down by two blocks. And there you have it. So we're just gonna dig a little hole right here in the center. We'll place our water down. Actually, we need this water out. I'm gonna go grab some water from elsewhere in the cave. On the way back from grabbing more water, I found some diamonds tucked away in a corner. Next, I made an infinite water source and used it to make channels that would push the zombies to the center of the dungeon. While deepening the elevator shafts, I found even more diamonds. Nine. Oh, hello diamonds. Once the elevator shafts were cleared, I opened up an unaliving room so I could harvest zombie XP. My next task was to create a bubble elevator so I could reach the surface with ease. In order to make a bubble column, I needed kelp, which has the unique property of being able to turn flowing water blocks into water source blocks. On the way back, I found an even bigger catfish than the one I found in episode 1. I kinda wanna hit him just to see what happens. Oh man, he dropped a lot of catfish. I took the plunge and started placing kelp in the up elevator. I broke the kelp, replaced the soul sand, and the bubble elevator worked a little too well. Oh, well. Let's go up. No! Come on, there we go. Now we can get out. All that remained was to dig a tunnel for the zombies to fall into, remove the torches, and voila! A working XP farm. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. You may notice that there's some extra stuff in my inventory. That's because I'm actually recording this outro after the end of episode 8. I recorded this dungeon thing in the beginning of episode 8, and I figured it had such a different theme from the rest of the video that I should just turn this into a mini episode and give the rest of episode 8 its own, uh, you know, its own words. So anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoy the content, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.